I think there's no really getting around the fact that this is a bizarre move by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Not to sign Christian Kirk. They desperately need wide receiver help. So getting wide receivers uh, and even overpaying for a wide receiver, uh, I totally understand and don't have a huge issue with. Uh, the surprising thing is giving $84 million for four years. So we're talking $21 million a year on average to Christian Kirk. Now, uh, the details of how much that is guaranteed have yet to be announced so obviously guaranteed money matters because that means that you can cut him for a little to no penalty later on in the contract but if an advantage of the contract is you can eventually get out of the contract that's not the biggest of advantages you'd probably rather just have a guy who is going to be talented and just will be good on that contract it's especially surprising because Amari Cooper literally got is getting paid less money and got traded away for essentially nothing so why not trade for Amari Cooper then becomes the question and Looking at the other free agents, you can kind of see why Christian Kirk was the guy Jacksonville landed on because you have, you know, Devontae Adams, Chris Godwin, Mike Evans. Those were all guys that were like, oh man, these are going to be big ticket free agents. They all stay with their former team, largely due to the franchise tag. I guess technically Devontae Adams uh, maybe will not sign the franchise tag, but regardless, uh, if you do want him, you're going to have to give him draft capital, which I don't know if uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars want to do, which I get. Uh, so then there's guys like Allen Robinson, guys like Odell Beckham Jr., who you could make a you know swing at, someone like even Antonio Brown if you wanted to, but those are clearly some high-risk factors there. Maybe the least risk there would, uh, I would probably put at Robinson as kind of like the, the smallest risk there, but there still is, like he's coming off a bad season, and what is he going to really do? Again, maybe you go after a Jarvis Landry, but there's risk there. Christian Kirk, uh, I think you could argue there's risk with him as well. He was pretty good last year, so I think that you're getting a solid player here and I also think it's fair to say he probably wasn't used totally correctly in Arizona, so you're probably going to use him in a better way, I would imagine, if you are giving him big money. But as it stands right now, you're getting in, you're basically having a you know solid like vertical slot threat that you're going out and spending twenty one million dollars for as a guy who's really never performed that particularly well uh, in the NFL. The production has not matched what the contract he's getting is so this is just kind of a baffling move pro football focus had him projected to get a three-year 14 million dollar contract they're giving more and listen you're not a great team right so you do have to overpay to some degree but this feels like a pretty steep overpay and kind of just a bizarre move in general now again do the Jaguars get better here? Sure. And if there isn't a ton of guaranteed money, you can kind of start to see the logic behind this move a little bit because hey uh, hopefully it will work out. He will be good. And we're just, we're giving our young quarterback a good receiver. And quite frankly, we don't have many of those and we can't go through another year of Laquan Treadwell being wide receiver number one. We just can't do that. So I get it. And it does make the Jaguars better. The Jaguars have money to sign. So all of that, like I, I get it. I, I, I understand the logic behind it. Uh, I don't know. This is just, it's, it's too much money for me. I don't get why you wouldn't just draft a guy. I don't get why you wouldn't just, I mean, other free agents available, like DJ Jerk, for example, from Jacksonville, uh, who you could have got for, I'm assuming, less money. Juju Smith-Schuster would probably have gone for less money. Or just take some risk, like Jamison Crowder, Will Fuller, Marquez Vada scantling even. Uh, there's better options here than overpaying for Christian Kirk. But then again, they probably would have to overpay for someone because you just finished back-to-back -back, uh, worst overall seasons in the NFL. So maybe you just figured, hey, we're going to have to overpay for someone. Let's make it a receiver, which is the position of need. I don't know. No, kind of a weird move. Uh, the goal of a, of a rebuild is to get better. Not quite sure how this gets them that much better compared to how, you know, it doesn't make them get better, but they could have used that money in a better way, probably. That's what I think. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.